Hello and welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Marcus Giuliano. I'm the chef and owner of Aroma Time Bistro, and I am a chef on a mission. Thank you for watching or listening or tuning into this program. This program is going to be about how chefs are kind of misled or misleading us, and I, I'm, I harp on this all the time, and it drives me crazy. Um, I'm going to talk about um, seafood markets, and um, here in New York, we're in upstate New York, many of you have heard of the Fulton Fish Market in New York City. Now the Fulton Fish Market is in the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx, and I hear a lot of chefs saying, and some of the vendors in the area too, saying, oh, we go to Hunts Point or Fulton Fish Market to buy seafood and we get the freshest seafood and, and this and that. And I hear chefs all the time, and some chefs in the area up here that are an hour, hour and a half away from the market, actually drive down several times a week to pick stuff up in the market thinking that they're saving money, um, which in my opinion you're not saving money because you're using your valuable time uh, to be driving around back trip. And I, 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 did, I did it my first year up and I drove down to a vendor every other week to pick up things because the vendor wouldn't deliver up here and it was some, some key organic ingredients I was looking for and stuff like that, some specialty things. But um, Fulton Fish Market. It's a secondary market. There are better markets around the country, um, especially on the East Coast. You never see, we hear the term day boat, day boat caught cod, day boat caught mackerel, day boat caught scallops. A day boat is a boat that leaves the port, leaves near the market, and goes out for the day and comes back. There are no day boats in New York City. You wouldn't want to go fish around New York City because of the pollution that's happening. Um, it's just it, n nobody nobody really does day boats here. So the longer boats go out. But I've got to be honest with you, Gloucester and Boston are the markets on the East Coast. And any experienced chef or any experienced restaurateur or any experienced fish vendor will pull from those two markets. That's where the fish are getting landed. That's where the day boats go out. That's where the longer boats go out and come actually come back and land there. And what they don't get usually gets shipped to New York. You remember New York's not a place where you want to go out and fish. So it's a secondary market. It means that things are getting shipped from the other markets around the country like Seattle, uh, Texas, um, Miami, um, Gloucester, Boston, and then getting shipped over into New York market. And then of course it's having extra travel time. Now personally, I don't like the Hunts Point um, or, or, or Fulton Fish, obviously. Um, there are some vendors that I will actually ship in there direct, like some farm um, some farm vendors like tilapia and stuff like that. But as a general rule, if you want good salmon, you're going to have to use a market on the West Coast in Seattle or in Alaska and have it FedExed into your restaurant. If you want good high-quality albacore tuna, you're going to have to want to get it FedExed in from the Pacific Northwest. If you want good mahi-mahi or if you want good snapper, you're going to have to get that FedEx in from where they're landing the fish. Not from where it's being landed, sent to a market, and then being sent to into the secondary market. So, secondary market, Fulton is a secondary, primarily a secondary market. And um, so, when you hear chefs saying, "Oh, I go to Fulton Market, I go, I go get the freshest, freshest seafood. They have the best." Now you can think again and understand what exactly Fulton actually is. Um, secondary market. Um, you know, you want Hawaiian fish. And chefs nowadays have the tools to be able to pick up a phone, go online, and I get daily emails from three, four, five different companies of things that I can pick up the phone and actually call Hawaii and have it FedEx in the next day. Now, when I was in Colorado, I was in Colorado for several years back in the late 90s, and I would deal with a company out of Boston, out of the Gloucester market. And uh, Gloucester and Boston, they were in both markets. And I could literally pick up the phone first thing in the morning, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in the morning in Colorado, pick up the phone, call the seafood vendor in Boston, go over what they had available that just, just came in on the docks that morning at 5 a.m. that got landed that morning at 5 because that's when the boats get, usually get back in on the auction and the market starts working it's the first thing in the morning. I would, I would call them by 9, 9 o'clock my time, 11 o'clock East Coast time. I would tell them what I wanted, place the order. They would drive it to the airport two hours later. It would catch a 1 o'clock flight from Boston to Denver and connect, get a connecting flight into Colorado Springs into a secondary airport by 5 p.m. Fish that got into the market in Gloucester that morning was now on, on, a, on, a, on United Airlines in Colorado Springs where I could go pick it up 20 minutes away the same day. Chefs have this these kind of tools nowadays. Years and years ago you didn't. Um, so the stuff is just so, so, so quick. Now if you're going into, if that product goes into Fulton, 
you know, Fulton is, is, you can go pick up seafood there, but most of the people in Fulton are going to be a redistributor or, or it's going to be sitting in a warehouse another extra couple of days. So just add some days on. Um, so um, it's just, that's really important for fresh fish. Did I make sense, Jamie, on all this? Yes. Secondary market. Um, so we hear that all the time, people up here. Oh, I go to Fulton. I go do this. I go do that at Fulton. It's the best market. Secondary market, folks. Want the, want the goods? You go straight to the port where it's landing, get it FedEx then. Um, work relationship with those people and there's a lot of vendors now that are in those markets that will ship around the country. I'm Marcus Juliano, I'm a chef on a mission. Fresh seafood, um, even though our seafood stocks are dwindling and our seafood stocks are getting contaminated, um, it's getting a scary situation out there. Um, I, see, I, I see a lot of people, less people eating seafood. I mean it's, it's, it's one of those things where you know the contamination's happening and it's just it's a sad sad situation compared to uh, what it was years and years ago. So I'm Marcus Giuliano, I'm a chef on a mission. Thank you for watching.